Well, passers-by on a street in Brisbane's Fortitude Valley on October the 11th, 1991, had absolutely no idea they were about to bear witness to what will become an iconic moment of Australian pulp culture. Then this happened. Gentlemen, this is democracy manifest. What is the charge? Eating a meal? A succulent Chinese meal? After many years of mystery, that man was identified as Jack Carlson. Now he's been reunited with one of the police officers who helped assist him out of that restaurant ahead of a documentary highlighting this unique moment in Australian cultural history. And we are very pleased to say Jack Carlson and then police officer Stoll Watt join us from the very same restaurant in Brisbane. Gents, very good morning to both of you. Morning, uh, Michael. Yes, indeed. Have a top day, Michael. Yes, have a top day, Jack. So listen, let's go back to that day in 1991. You were sitting there in that restaurant enjoying your succulent Chinese meal. What happened then? Well, they've run in and uh, arrested me and threw me in the back of a car and uh, all mistaken identity, of course. And when they realised that, uh, I was released. You were dragged out of the restaurant. The watch house. We're showing the, the images now, and you happen to see a Channel 7 camera there. Jack, uh, was there a bit of uh, performance art involved in what we all saw? Oh, I suppose so. A bit hard to remember motives and that from going back that far. Yeah. Stoll, tell us uh, your version of what happened. You were driving nearby and you were called to help and you were one of the uh, party of uh, police officers there, how should we say, assisting Jack. Uh, take us through what happened. I was driving through the valley. A call came over, uh, urgent police assistance. When I got there, there was Jack and his uh, friend enjoying the succulent Chinese meal. There was a young fraud squad detective who uh, Jack wasn't uh, overly cooperative with. I assisted Jack to uh, leave the restaurant and, uh, and also to get into the car. Uh, Jack's now a good uh, mate of mine, uh, but I have a different version of events to what actually occurred. There's a lot of different versions of the events, a lot of uh, mistruths and uh, uh, mis, uh, misperceptions about the whole thing. But it's, uh, the main thing is Jack should have got an Academy Award and uh, he's, a, he's a good mate. Uh, what do you reckon Indeed. about that, Jack? Thank you. Yes, I wholeheartedly endorse his utterances. <laughs> and uh, so be it. You were saying uh, it was a case of mistaken identity, but Jack, listen, you, you have been no angel. You've spent uh, time in and out of jails o over the years. Was it a oh, case, though, that you just got lucky on that day? Oh, I suppose you'd call it that. No, I've, of course, up until... Uh, well, the first uh, 30 years of my life, starting at the age of about uh, seven, I've been in institutions and jails, escaped from three of them. That's when I was prete I pretended to be a detective from uh, when they brought me and my friend down from uh, Long Bay Jail to the court. There's a big cell there. And I pretended to be a detective and grabbed me mate and said, come on, you're under, I'm taking you around to forecourt. And I said to the, the uh, copper on the door, get it open, I've got to get him around to forecourt. And he did. You've had a, and away we went. You've had a colourful history. As Stoll said, uh, different versions of what uh, happened, uh, we all saw from that video. Was it true, Jack, that an officer did grab you by the private parts or was that uh, made up on the spot? Probably made up. Right. I can't remember. Stole, that yeah. certainly I've wasn't you. I've got a bloke sitting next to me now. <laughs> you can Jack, confirm that. Jack has uh, since, Jack since said that he, uh, he exaggerated that one. But I must say, uh, Jack would have made a good detective in a different uh, line of work.